I'll leave him crawling here. Okay, so we're here to discuss Anatomy of Loss. So this goes right back to fucking two years ago before all the crazy pandemic shit. We had this plan, it was just nothing in particular. We just thought we would do a show sort of dedicated to Anatomy of Loss. It was kind of an anniversary at the time. The album originally came out in April, so we were having an April show planned and we thought, fuck it, let's just do a whole load of Anatomy of Loss thing and we'll put it out on cassette. And then obviously it didn't happen for all the reasons that we're all too familiar with. However, now, here it is, Anatomy of Loss on cassette. We are now doing a release show on Friday 10th of December in the limelight 2 with Neveny, kick off 7pm. So I thought I would make a couple of short videos, not very many, not too, not too long, just going into Anatomy of Loss and just kind of chat about it. If I go right back, um, this is it. This is the way the CD came out. It came out in April 2017 and it was released on Grind Scene Records. Just thinking about the album overall, the thing with the first album is that you kind of have your whole career up to that point to write it, which usually makes the first album tends to be better not all the time. I'm not saying this is better because we don't have that many albums out. <laughs> um, but first album, I always think bands have a long time to, to write that first album. So I think it can be particularly iconic, if nothing else, or very defining. And I think that's what, um, looking back, Anatomy of Loss is. We had the single and the EP, and just we're still finding our feet a wee bit. There was a couple of tracks in the EP that made it onto the album, which I think define our sound. So I think the album, it's it's definitely, Anatomy of Loss is definitely where we were headed, and um, would be, if you want to let people know how we sound, that's a good place as any. I think it's developed since then, but it's still, the roots of it are in here. So let's just think about the overall concept of Anatomy of Loss. Say a couple of songs were written prior to it. Um, there is a definite theme throughout all the tracks. Um, and it is just that overwhelming loss that human beings experience. And that is what a lot of the songs reflect. Uh, I didn't title it until the very, very end. I think there was a couple of other titles I had. My Great Judas, My Great Architect and Age of Regret. Um, I can't remember what else I had, I think Into the White, something like that. Which, if you know the band, know that it made it later. But yeah, so once we got the whole thing written and all the songs recorded, I remember looking back overall and eight songs about loss in one way or the other, and they kind of dissect that, which is why Anatomy of Loss is so fitting. The artwork is fucking superb. Kind of came about per chance. Um, the artwork was done by Travis Smith, who, for me, getting Travis Smith to do the artwork was just fucking mind-blowing. When I sort of found that extreme side of metal and the type of music that I love, which is basically the Peaceful bands from the from the early to late, well, basically all the 90s. And Travis Smith was a common denominator in that he did basically all the artwork for those sort of bands that I love. Particularly bands like Catatonia, for one. Uh, he did the Opeth album, I'll see, he did Slayer. And he did a ton of uh, anathema stuff. All those sort of bands that I just fucking adore. It's just my type of music, you know. Whenever we did Anatomy of Loss, it was like, this is it. This was the debut album by The Crawling. It had to be fucking perfect. And it was like, I wonder, could we get Travis Smith to do the artwork? So I just messaged him and was like, any chance? Here's the music. Here's what we're about. This is the title. And he came back and he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And it was dead easy to deal with him. And yeah, I still went back and I was just like, holy fuck. That was just so fucking cool. Getting Travis Smith, just the artwork idol of mine, to do the artwork on our debut album. And it, it, just, it just looks class. There was a potential different album cover, which was white and just totally different. And it was considered, um, but we picked, to pick that one instead. I'm not sure if I can show you that. Maybe you wouldn't like me showing that art. I probably better not. The minute we saw that art, it was like, that is it. That's it's just it's just fucking brilliant. We also had this was the Raven, unexpected Spectre designed the Raven, another great artist, um, really good line drawing stuff, and I wanted something that we could use kind of forever, like a symbol, and the Raven just worked beautifully. So that was really the height of it. It was just getting all the songs together and the artwork and the title, and it all just sounded and worked particularly well. Yeah, it, it worked beautifully and it worked perfectly and uh, I think it came out great. I can still listen to it now and yeah, of course there's changes it would make but 
um, overall. It's cool. So come and see us Friday, 10th of December, us in the evening, I'm like too.